Hello, it's Light Here Attacker here once again with the second part of my New Year's plan. Well, at least for posting and what is probably going to be seen across the channel over the next few months. Well, that isn't technology related because that's going to be a part as well, but I'm rambling and the only reason why you saw me shooing away OBS for a second, as you could probably see from the actual, uh, I'm actually capturing full monitor from my computer and also you would notice that this is in 1080 and not 720 or whatever resolution I was capturing at before. But, I digress, this is, well, sort of like my immediate purchases for the next few months that don't involve technology, and as I literally said in my blog posting a few weeks ago, the main part of that is Ghost in the Shell, because we have this is the US release, because, well, there is no UK release planned so far, even though there is a possibility of it. But, any which way, it, the Blu-ray version is finally coming to the West, and instead of waiting for Manga Entertainment to get their finger at their backside, the US division has actually done a deal with Anchor Bay to release it on Blu-ray in the States. So, well, I'm just going to go and say screw you and I'm going to be picking this up. Good pricing, about £43 for Season 1 and Season 2, which is nice. <sighs> and, yeah... That will at least give me a HD version of Ghost in the Shell, even though I have both seasons on DVD. The release is a bit flaky. Uh, right, well, yeah, one of the other ones I actually mentioned is the Magic Knight Ray Earth Blu-ray Complete Collection, which brings both both seasons into one nice little box and in HD as well. Yeah. And that uh, that was actually going to be a purchase for this month. But most likely because of the audio equipment I'm going to have to purchase and all the other hardware I'm going to have to get. This is most likely going to either be February or March now, which is going to really collide with, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? <laughs> yeah. A very sizable and will probably be one of the few premium editions I'm going to be picking up. Which includes the whole series, the whole series on DVD and Blu-ray, with a crap ton of extras. And I think it also includes the old Hestia boob ribbon. But I digress. Another one that is gonna, well, give me a full, a completion of sorts. Well, until the movie release. Is Girls and Girls and Panza. This is the real Anzio battle, and this is literally linking into sort of like nearing the end of the original series when there was an episode called Next Up Is Anzio. Although you never really see the full fight, you only see the end. This release, this OVA release, is actually of the Anzio fight. Uh, yeah. So, 
Well, those are the main. Those are all the mains. Another one that's possibly going to be purchased is a Maggie Brilliant Park. Something I've heard a bit about, but I uh, never could watch because, if I remember, it was stuck behind a massive asshole paywall. <sighs> Something else that I actually need to get, which I haven't, which I haven't got linked up in my little set of tabs, is the last Japanese release for the Persona 3 movie for Winter of Rebirth. Because I've already got one, the first three movies, but because money was allocated elsewhere, I couldn't get the fourth part on release and normally what I always do now is I actually order this stuff directly from I order the direct Japanese release and not the import with the with all the extra stuff from Aniplex of America because normally it's a bit cheaper but a few other things as I've got bookmarked up here are a few old releases and I'm actually getting in cheapo version like Bento and Ray's Blue Ultra Memory as they are now £22.50. Although another thing with the Persona 3 movies, because they are coming out, well, hopefully we should have words that the first one is probably going to be coming out within the next month or so because right, scrolly 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 yeah I'm being a complete moron here uh, H -R -J -K -L -M -N -O -P. yes free movie one yes because I'm probably going to be double dipping on these even though I have the Japanese release I don't know why they've got these as dubbed, as hybrid, when they're most likely not going to be. Because there's also Persona 5, the animation of Daybreakers, that I'll probably be getting. Although that was originally going to come with around the time of the console games release. Unfortunately, that has now been pushed back to April. Instead of it being in February. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Kinmosa. Probably another one of my pickups. Also, March 2017. A lot of stuff coming out. There's also other stuff listed to get that I don't think is hang on no page down uh, uh, yeah right yeah because one of the other things I need Let's hope my, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, blimey, internet, oh, okay, ah, yeah, here we go, oh, should success in the, hmm, Right, as I do remember that there was supposed to be a Blu-ray coming out, but uh, either it slid off the mortal coil here, or right, if you'll excuse me, yep. Typical of my um, video work. Try to remember something, and you have to go looking around. Yeah. 
Okay. Hmm. Right. Uh, so I do remember there was supposed to be a Blu-ray release, but well, if that's gone down a tape, gone down a plug hole. Yep. So yeah. As for general technology and relating to the computer, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually focus on getting everything transferred over to the new case first, or if I will actually get more parts, as in get the, the game storage drives, because it's now going to have two drives and not the one. Then get the SSD for the OS. Probably upgrade it to Windows 10 before I do that. Because, well, I've actually got the... <laughs> Good thing about this. Uh, downloads. Yeah. Windows 10 upgrade. Yeah, the old back door. <laughs> Yep, so as I could do that, and well, with, and well, as there are still a few systems going, but with the launch of KB Lake, and with the launch of the, the dual core with hyper-threading Pentium processors, what might happen is the lower end of the builds might end up being a KB Lake Pentium, because it, even though it's a dual core, it's got four processing threads, so it would actually run as a it would be run and be seen as a quad core. So the lower cost one system might be a KB Lake Pentium, and then the more powerful version might be a might uh, either be a slightly higher up the chain, might be an i5 KB Lake, or it might be a AMD Zen slash Ryzen processor system. But, well, that's a long way away, and, well, it's been 12 minutes already. So, I'm going to cut this off and you if you did ever hear any noise in the background I really don't know what it is and well I haven't really done any capture on this computer before which probably explains the noise well I've actually tried to suppress it as much as I could but well yeah so all right let's uh end it right here. So, this is Blighty Otaku signing off. Until next time, which, well, depending on what I do, will probably be either the next week or the next fortnight, because I'll probably cut, I'll probably do a video of this little audio upgrade to replace the iPod, or temporarily replace it, or whatever. <sighs> And again, I'm going to have to repeat myself. This is Mighty Otaku signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you laters.